but do not listen to the words, then I will require it of him. Start reading at uh, John 12, and we'll begin reading at uh, verse 44. John 12 and 44. 12 and 44. Okay, go ahead and read. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. He was Jesus said, You believe on me, him that believe on me. He don't believe on me. He believe on the one that sent me. Who was the one that sent him? The Father sent him. Mm -hmm. Father said, so I'm going to put my words in his mouth, and he's only going to speak what I tell him. So now when he come with his doctrine, then it's not his doctrine. It is the Father that gave it to him. So therefore, when you listen to him, then you are listening to the Father. Go ahead and read on. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. Go ahead and read. I am, I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Uh -huh. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I am come not to judge the world, but to save the uh -huh. world. He that rejoiceth, that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words have one that judgeth him. Uh -huh. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Go ahead and read. For I have not spoken of myself, uh -huh. but the Father which sent me. Go ahead. He gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. He said, the Father that sent me, he gave me the commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. Well, we read that in Deuteronomy, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said, you know, I'm going to put my words in his mouth, and he's only going to speak what I command him. Mm -hmm. So now Jesus is telling you, you know, uh, uh, when, uh, for, uh, when I, I'm not spoken of myself, but the Father who sent me, he gave me commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. Go ahead and read. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Go ahead. Whatsoever I speak, there, therefore, even as the Father saith unto me, so I speak. Now, so it's just, Jesus just letting you know, you know, the doctrine that he came with, it was not his own, but it was the Father that sent him. Mm -hmm. That is whose doctrine that you are dealing with. Now, let's go to John chapter 17 and pick it up at verse 6. John 17 and verse 6. Now, Jesus said, you know, the Father gave me the words that I speak unto you. Now, I'm going to show you Jesus that is the words that he gave unto his disciples. Start reading at John chapter uh, uh, 17 and began reading at verse 6. 17 and 6. Go ahead and read, brother. I have manifested thy name unto men, which thou gavest me out of the world. Now, this is Jesus. He's praying to the Father. He said, I manifested your name to the men that you gave me out of the world. Go ahead and read. Thine they were, uh -huh. and thou gavest them me. Go ahead. And they have kept thy word. Go ahead. Now they have not. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Uh -huh. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. See what Jesus said to the Father. He said, the words that you gave me, those are the same words that I have given unto them. He's talking about his disciples here. Go ahead and read on. And they have received them. And they received them. Go ahead and read. And have known surely that I came out from thee. Uh -huh. And they have believed that thou didst send me. Now skip down to verse 14 and continue to read. I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them. He was I gave them thy word, and the world has hated them. And, yeah, and, and that is what you're going to get when you have the word of God. Expect it. You know, I like to tell people, I like to remind people of that because I don't want them to expect anything different. The world is not going to love you when you have the word of God. Don't expect, I don't care if it's mama. Daddy, best friend, brother, husband, wife, it does not matter. The world is not going to love you when you have the word of God. Jesus came, Jesus told you that I didn't come to bring peace, but I came to bring a sword to set every man advance against his neighbor, mother against daughter, father against son. And a man's foes will be they of his own household. Because once you come in this word, then there is a division in that house. Because you are walking that way, and they are walking the opposite way. So that is division all day long. So that there's going to be some division. If both parties are not in that word, then there's going to be some division in that house. One going to want to read the Bible where it said, Thou shalt not eat the swine, and the other one is going to want to fill the refrigerator up with swine. <laughs> that is division, isn't it? Yeah. 
One going to read Jeremiah the 10th chapter where it said, don't set that tree up and decorate it with silver and gold because that is the way of the heathen. And the other one going to say, yes, I am. I'm going to set it right here in the middle of this living room. <laughs> that is division, isn't it? Yep. That is what the word of God does. You understand what I'm saying? That is why he said the world is going to hate you. Expect it. Don't expect nothing else. Don't go out, because I know everybody, when they get this gospel, first thing they go do is run into their little one. <laughs> they can't wait to tell them. <laughs> and then what, you, what your little one tell you, get out of here with that. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I don't want to hear that. I was born a Baptist, and I am going to die a Baptist. I've been told that I don't know how many times. Yeah, yep. You serve God your way, and I am going to serve him mine. They will tell you that in a heartbeat. Yep. Expect it. That is where the word of God is going to take you. But nevertheless, you hold on to the word. Even though it will bring division in your house. Hold on to the word. Because your reward is much greater than theirs. Uh, what verse are we? At the end of verse 14. Go ahead and read. Because they are not of the world. See what it said? The reason they're going to hate you because you are no longer of the world. When you was of the world, they all loved you, didn't you? You couldn't, you couldn't keep that foot out of your house. Every time you looked around, they knocking on your door. Come on, Brother Daniel. Let's go out here and do the thing. <laughs> Soon as I came in the Word and stuck the Bible in their face, I ain't seen them no more. And if they look down the street and see me coming, they go the other way. <laughs> Why? Because I am no longer of the world. You don't do the thing that the world do anymore. Therefore, now they hate you. Go ahead and read some more. Even as I am not of the world. Go ahead. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, uh -huh. but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Go ahead. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. See what Jesus said? He said, they are not, they're no longer of the world, even as I am not of the world. Go ahead and read. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy, thy word is truth. Now, that's what set service of God apart from everybody else. Sanctify, that means to set apart. That's what set service of God apart from everybody. It is the word of God. He says, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Go ahead and read on. As thou hast sent me into the world... Even so have I also sent them into the world. Uh -huh. and, the, and, and for their sakes, I sanctified myself Go ahead. that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Go ahead, me. Neither pray I for, the, for these alone, uh -huh. but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Now, you know, these are the ones like us that's believing on the Lord through their word because what the Lord gave them, it is recorded here. So now this generation, it came along, and we are believing in the words that was given unto them that they recorded. So now the Lord said, I am praying for them as well. I don't pray for the world. I pray for those that you have given me out of the world. Those are the ones that Jesus said he was praying for. He ain't praying for the world. I'm going to go and pray for the worst thing on the planet. He just got through murdering 10 or 11 people, raping some old lady, and I'm going to go pray for her? Only, only prayer of mine he can get is, I pray that he repent of his wickedness. That's the only thing. Lord, bless him now and be with him. <laughs> Man, he just got through raping a 90-year-old lady. What I'm going to pray the Lord bless him for and be with him. So Jesus said, I don't pray for the world. I pray for those that you have given me out of the world. Let's go now to uh let's go now to uh 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 Matthew chapter five and we'll pick it up at verse seventeen. Five and seventeen. So now, you know, Jesus said, I came with the doctrine of my father. Mm -hmm. In other words, that same doctrine that was written in the Old Testament, that is the message that I came with. The message did not change. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, and we'll pick it up at uh, 
verse 17, because everybody want to tell you, you know, yeah, the law was good and all of that, you know, in the Old Testament, but when Jesus came, everything changed. Well, let's see. Let's start reading at Matthew chapter 5, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Now, the, the medicines, the false medicines, they tell you everything changed. Let's see what did Jesus say. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5 and begin reading at verse 17. 5 and 17. 5 and 17. Go ahead and read, brother. Think not that I am come to destroy the law now, or the prophets. Now, this is what Jesus said. I don't want you to think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. Now, now, the false ministers tell you that he did come to do away with the law. But what did Jesus say? I don't want you to think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read on. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. I didn't come to destroy. I came to fulfill, and he did not come to fulfill it for you either. He came to fulfill it for himself, but then he's going to let you know you're going to have to fulfill it as well. Go ahead, read on. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. What he says here, until heaven and earth pass, one jot, one tittle of the law shall not pass until all be fulfilled. Let you know, as long as there's a heaven and earth, then the law is still yeah, good. Yeah. So he said, I didn't come to do away with the law, like they claim that he did. Right, right. But he said something different. The false medicine is telling you one thing, and the Lord is telling you something entirely different. They tell you that Jesus came to do away with the law, and Jesus said, I didn't come to do away with the law. Go ahead and read on. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. Now, who is whosoever? Anybody. Everybody, isn't it? Because you get another fable that they like to tell you, too, that the law is for the Jews and, and grace is for the Gentiles. The law is for everybody, and everybody going to have to come under grace or go in the fire. You know what the grace is? The grace is the blood of Jesus. Everybody going to have to come under grace. And you are not under grace until you repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. And in order to remain under that grace, you got to walk in the law. That's the teaching of the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? That is what the ministers are supposed to be telling you, but they are telling you something entirely different. And when they tell you that you don't have to deal with the law no more, look at what's going to happen to you. Go ahead, read on. He said, and she'll teach me and so. Uh-huh. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever break them or even teach men to do so, they will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven, meaning they will not even be in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. And ain't but one other place you're going to be. That's why I said these false ministers are dangerous. You know, uh, Moses told you that in, in uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 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 13, yeah. because they turn you away from serving your God. And when you turn away from serving your God, then he said you will not be in the kingdom of heaven. You will be in that other place that you don't want to go. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read on. But whosoever shall do and teach them. Now he said, but the ones that will do them and teach them. Go ahead and read. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. He said, those shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead and read on. For I say unto you uh -huh. that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, uh -huh. you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, I just want to read this next verse so you'll understand what law it is that he didn't come to do away with. Go ahead, read. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, uh -huh. thou shalt not kill. Where did that come from? That came out of 10, didn't right. it? And, you know, out of 10, where you got remember the Sabbath day to keep it mm -hmm. holy, Six days do all thy labor, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. Now, how are you going to go in there and grab one out of the ten, throw it away because you don't want to deal with it, but you're going to keep the rest of them? It is a covenant. It is one covenant. Every law in the covenant applies. If you're going to, then you know, because if you're going to start throwing them out, then you got another guy, he's going to want to throw away the house and say, I don't like you, man. I want to kill you. That's right, brother. So now I'm going to go in there and get thou shalt not kill out of the tent, throw it out, and then go blow his brains out <laughs> and, and be justified in it. Right. Yeah. You got, there's some law. 
that everybody want to throw away. You understand what I'm saying? I guarantee you, if we allowed man to make the decision, there wouldn't be no law. Because you'll say, I want to throw this one out. I'll say, I want to throw another one out. And the sister says she want to throw another one out. And then when we all done, there are none. Yep. Then